In this video, we are going to learn how to implement Tailwind CSS into our web projects. This is the official website of Tailwind CSS. The URL is tailwindcss.com. If we click the get started, it will take us to the documentation page. And if we click this installation now, we are going to get some guides how we can install our Tailwind CSS into our project. There are two methods. First one is by using the package manager or npm. The second one is to use the CDN link. In here you will get the CDN link and you can just copy the link and you can paste it inside the head tag of your index.html. This is the CDN link at the bottom of the page. And here there is some reasons why we should not use the CDN with the Tailwind because Tailwind is an utility first framework. So we will need to use the functionality like apply or we may need to modify any properties and to modify the Tailwind basic theme or default theme, we need to use the NPM. Here, as you can see here, it tells us that we cannot customize Tailwind default theme by using the CDN. We cannot also use the directives like apply or variants. And we cannot enable additional variant like group focus. And we cannot also install any third party plugins that are created for Tailwind CSS. So for all these reasons, we are not going to use the CDN. And actually nobody use CDN with Tailwind. CDN is good for complete framework like materialize and bootstrap. There are too many components. We can use the entire framework to make our template. But in this case, we need the NPM or this additional functionality where we can modify the base or default theme. Here you can find the commands we need to use to install the Tailwind. But to use with npm package manager, we first need to install the Node.js. This is the official website of Node.js. The URL is nodejs.org. And if you are a Windows user, you can get the stable version from here. But on advice though, you should not use the latest version because there may be some bugs in it. So it's better to use the stable version. And if you are not an Windows user, you can go to the download page. And here there are some versions for Mac OS and even for Linux. So you can get it from here and install it. After installing, go to your command prompt. Here is our command prompt. Now if we type node hyphen version, it means version. If we press enter, we will get a version here. So if you get the version number, then it means that you have successfully installed the node.js. And if it is shows a error message or nothing else, then you may need to go to the installation in the node.js and again install it properly. After installing it, we can go to our desktop and create a new folder. You can go anywhere and create a new folder, it doesn't matter. I'm going to give it a name of Tailwind. And let's open it by the code manager or VS code. I am going to use the Microsoft Visual Studio code in this course. But if you are using any other code editors that absolutely fine, you are fine to go along with me. So I like the Visual Studio code because it is absolutely free and it has tons of features. There are thousands of extensions available in here and it will help us a lot to our coding process. That's why I use the Visual Studio Code and on incredible feature it has this terminal. So it has a built-in terminal in it. 
while working with the npm or any other node package or any command we don't need to go to the command prompt to type out the command we can directly apply it inside the visual studio course so it's a great advantage of vs code but if you are using any other code editor editors that absolutely fine you can use the command prompt to install the tailwind so that's why i am going to show you in two different ways how we can install the tailwind css into our project both of the process are almost the same with just a simple difference and it is not very difficult if you are working with the node package manager then you already have ideas about that but uh, if you don't and you haven't used the npm package manager anytime now you can find it pretty difficult and in my case when we when i first started to use the npm it was difficult to me that's why i am going to show you in the two different ways so that you can understand properly i am going to show it in the visual studio code first then we will go to the command prompt so in visual studio code or any other uh, by command prompt we need to initiate the npm so the command will be npm init now it will ask us some questions to avoid the questions and give it a default answer of yes we can use an hyphen and i it is a flag it means yes so it will not ask ask any questions now it is initiating and now there will be a package.json file inside our folder there is no dependencies here or nothing else now we are going to use the tailwind right so this is the command to install the tailwind there are three things in here first one is tailwind css for css and auto prefixer we don't need to use the auto post css because we are not going to use the post css we will use the tailwind as an separate plugin that's why we are going to leave it and we are going to use this ta tailwind css and auto prefixer so let's go to our terminal in visual studio code and it will be npm install the first one is tailwind css it will install the tailwind css inside it and we also need the auto prefixer now let's press enter and it will take some time to install it based on your internet speed or the power of your computer and in my case the internet speed is pretty slow so it is taking a few time so the installation is done and as you can see here there is a dependency and it says auto prefixer version 10.0.4 and it also installed the tailwind css 2.0.1 they are inside this node modules there are many files in here but uh, in here there is somewhere in the tailwind css this is the tailwind css but uh, we actually don't need to go into the node modules we will not even touch this folder now we need an folder or files actually let's create a folder and i am going to give it a name of src it is the short form of source and inside it let's create another full file and i am going to name it tailwind dot css and in the case of tailwind we will import the tailwind components inside it but this is not our code right we are not going to do anything with that in actual production we are going to use an different folder which i am just going to create let us give it a name of distribution it is the short form of dist actually uh, <clears throat> and let's uh, create an index.html and an style.css now this index.html and style.css are our actual files so when we finish our project and we need to 
apply the codes or transfer it we are just going to use this the components in this document in this folder we will not copy any of this we don't need that in the time of coding we will not do anything with the this style.css inside this distribution folder but we will do the our html course inside this index.html but not the style.css although we can move this index.html in the root folder let's do that now this is the style.css we will turn into the production and in this tailwind.css we are going to do our stylings and we will compile all of this inside that style.css inside this dist folder so let's go to the documentation and here as you can see it is telling us to include all of these three the first one is the base then the component and utilities let's copy and paste it inside the source folder now we are done we can run our codes now this is the code we need to run in order to compile the contents in this tailwind.css into this style.css in the dist folder we can directly run the code inside the terminal but we will need to run this uh, code for more times then it may be difficult for us to type all of this stuff in the terminal that's why the package.json will help this is a demo command and we can replace it or we can edit it we can add another command it doesn't matter let's delete it and we can give it a give this command a name it doesn't matter how you choose you can give it on your own so let's give it a name of build css i think it will be reasonable because we are going to build the css here now inside this command we are going to add this text actually not this text we are going to modify it according to our needs in here we are going to use the npx not the npm npx tailwind css hyphen cli and to install the latest cli we can use the at the rate and latest but if you just ignore the this part it doesn't matter it will work just fine now we are going to build it right so build then the folder now we need to compile the css inside the source folder src hyphen or backslash then the tail win.css now we need to output this components into this style.css so we need to use an output flag it will be hyphen o for output now it will be in the set the dist folder and style.css it doesn't matter if this style.css doesn't exist if it is not there then this command will create an style.css inside this dist folder or this location then compile all of the things inside from this style.css into that folder now let's save it and we can now run this build css command in our terminal so to run a command we need to use the npm run and the command name which in this case is build hyphen css let's press enter and uh, this standard css is currently empty there is nothing in it but when it will finish the job and the entire tailwind.css or tailwind framework inside will be inside this standard css the compilation process is done and inside the standard css you can see lots of course here there are thousands of lines of course or css so this is the tailwind css framework and we have installed our tailwind css into this project perfectly now we can go to the index.html get the starter template and add this style.css inside it 
so it's inside the list folder then backslash and style.css now we are fine to code with the html inside it and it will be perfectly functional now let's close the window and now we are going to use our command line or command prompt to install the tailwind into our project and if you are using visual studio code then you can skip skip the rest of the video because you already have done it perfectly we don't need to see this but if you are not using visual studio code then you can see the rest of the video here this is actually pretty simple and all of the functionality is almost the same we have used the command line inside the visual studio code previously but now we are going to use our command prompt instead of the vs code so it is the command prompt cmd now we need to navigate through our folders or files by this command prompt we can do that and currently this is the c then this user folder then the pc name we are now inside this folder we can either go deep or go back into a folder now to go back we need to use cd and two dot two dot means it will go out of this folder now it's inside this pc name then now it will be inside the user folder we are now in here now let's go back again cd two dot now we are inside the c folder in this but if you want to go again into the user folder we need to give the command of cd then the folder name which in this case is user press enter cd and user i got the name wrong it will be users not the user now we are inside the users let's get into the desktop or maybe inside this folder then the desktop let's get the pc name and cd and the folder name and we are inside it again let's go into the desktop now we are inside the desktop we are in here we can directly create a folder inside the desktop or we can create our command line to do that for us the command will be mkdir it means make directory and we can give it a name let's uh, give it a name of tailwind css and press enter there will be a folder in here it tells tailwind.css or tailwind css now we need to go inside this folder for that again the same command cd and tailwind css enter now we are inside the tailwind css now all the process will be the same we need to initiate the npm so npm init hyphen i it will create the npm package for us this is the package.json now if we want to install the tailwind css we can directly do that by using this this command at the top this one here let's do that npm install tailwind css and auto prefixer press enter and it will install the tailwind css and auto prefixer into the node modules and from this all the process will be the same as visual studio code but instead of writing the code in the visual studio code terminal you will need to use the command prompt to do that and rest of the process are almost the same 
So, this is how we can set up the Tailwind CSS into our project and from the next video we are going to actually learn and use Tailwind CSS. So, see you in the next video. Take care.